Hey, what's going on everyone? So welcome back inside Unreal Engine 5. Now this time around, we're going to be looking at some pretty amazing Archivist. Now, whenever I do outdoors, I usually get Maui maps, but when it comes to indoors, I have a couple of options. They're pretty limited as far as indoor goes, but one of them is Divas. Now I've bought this guy's maps before. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't make a lot. So this is like maybe my third thing that I bought from him, but this right here is pretty bananas it's an archivist in unreal engine 5 that he just came out last week now as far as i know this is a product of a tutorial that he made now i am not getting paid by this guy uh, but i am supporting him by showing you this video and just really showcasing unreal engine 5 really because i mean look at this thing <laughs> what's real <laughs> you know, so I did add some assets in here that was not in the original project and you can probably guess it, but um, I wanted to add some nanite meshes in here, just static meshes, a couple of items. And yeah, so let's go ahead and press play and take a look at this little map here, this Archivist. Now I'm going to try to run this in medium resolution and I'm going to press start so I can get a pretty good FPS as you can see. Uh, that's pretty decent and I am running shadow play as well. All right, so here we are. Now this is his, uh, his player, and if I right click, I can actually zoom in. This is his own character player. Okay, so we're just gonna walk around here, check out the scene. Man, I'm telling you, this guy is pretty insane. <laughs> he does some pretty darn amazing work. Now I did turn off motion blur because I know some of y'all really don't like it. So let's go ahead and open this door here. And what's cool about this is, as you can see right there, it has some physics in it. The the curtains, they look so real. I mean, if you stare at this right here for a second, it's getting pretty darn crazy. You know, it's getting pretty realistic. Um, this is with Lumen, right? So you're looking at this with Lumen enabled. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Let me take a look at this, dude. I mean, Archivist is getting pretty crazy. All right, that's bananas. So let's go, let's go out and just walk around this map because it's such a good map. See, I'm not gonna have any reflections because I'm not real. <laughs> just a camera flowing around here, all right? So let's see if we can close this door. It's pretty cool, comes with a little animation. All right, so let's move. Let's take a look at this static mesh. Now, this is a nanite mesh. It was a static mesh, and I converted it to nanite, so I just kind of see it. It is a photo scanned car, so it's probably not going to look as high quality, but it looks pretty cool. All right, so let's move on to the hallway here. It has some rock walls here. I'm just zooming in. Nice step to field for his little camera. And it looks like we have some issues back there with the DOF with that branch over there. Looks kind of weird. Okay, there you go. That's a lot better. He has a little bit of camera shake in there as well in his camera. Absolutely gorgeous. And the grass as well looks really good. It's pretty good. Leave. I mean, I am getting in really close to these assets, <laughs> so we're we're pretty much just really taking a close look at these assets. So, but man, from far away, this this just looks this just looks crazy good. And like I said, the physics on those uh, currents look good as well. So let's enter here. A fire is always going to be hard, you know. I'm not even sure what kind of fire that is. We'll check it out. But look at this living room. I mean, let's see. What, what does that say? Let me go pre pre play this real quick. I don't know what that does. Okay, so it shows a little video of them. Okay, that's cool. And, I mean, Archivist is nothing new. People, people do this. They've, they've been doing this for a long time. But... Real-time lighting like this, I mean, you can only kind of see where this is going to go. This is going to go to, you know, like high-end houses that are being sold in the market. 
you know, VR pictures are no longer there, even though not a lot of people actually use VR images, only a, a certain amount of, I mean, if you have like a half a million dollar house, you're probably going to have a VR uh, showing. But with Unreal Engine 5 and 4, real-time rendering like this, I mean, it's going to be crazy. I mean, the future is going to be crazy. So you can actually render your house you're selling and have an EXE game and people can walk in there and view the house. Maybe even in VR one day. You know, so this is kind of cool. Just the future, really. And I think here, yeah, you can change the color scheme around, which is pretty cool. So again, if you're like selling furniture, you know, you can use this as well. There's a lot of applications you can use this on. It's pretty awesome stuff. Looks kind of weird. And there's a mango here. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is actually changing the entire closet. That's crazy. That's pretty cool. It's cool stuff. Man. I wish I could run this on high because uh, I'm going to try to run it on high just because. But I'm not sure how we're going to do on high. So there's a little flame area. Is this going to turn on? Oh, okay, this is for the... Okay, there you go. You can actually change the color of the um, island here. This is really cool. Can you open the fridge? No. This dynamic lighting is really cool. And we're going to change it a little bit here in a second. I mean, look at this image. Really talented guy. If you don't know who he is, go check him out. I'll put the uh, link in the comments below. I think there's a bedroom here. Yeah. Okay, so we can edit the colors of the curtains. Oh, this is the kitchen. I guess oh, same thing. Okay. And this is the pool area here. Now, on the backdrop, that's just an image, so that's why it looks kind of fake. It's kind of like an HRI-ish. This is bananas, man. This looks so good. I mean, grass is no easy feat, but he did a really good job. Look at this. I mean, Andre and I, you're probably looking at that like, yeah, that's, that's real grass, but it's not. I'm actually curious to see what kind of grass that is. We're gonna take a look, take a look at that after this little demo. Okay, so what else? Oh, there's a little hallway here. Um, oh, this is just the bedroom in the front. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it opens the bedroom that we were just in. Gotcha. Well, that was weird. What the heck is going on with that? <laughs> That's odd. Let's see. Definitely a little bit of shadowy here, so... Can you open it from here? Yeah, you can. There you go. Get some light in. Oh, man. That dynamic lighting is cool. Oh, that's legit. And you know what's crazy? If you look outside, it's overexposed, right? Kind of like if you had a camera and you're shooting the same thing indoors, the outside's going to be overexposed. But my goodness. Ah. It's going to happen 10 years from now, though. Seriously. Nice images as well. Oh, wow. Look at this. That material is really cool. It's like silky. And there's some glass reflections. This is definitely just to show off. 
some Unreal Engine. I gotta check. It has Lumen. I cranked up the setting to 4 because by default he had it by 1. So I cranked it to 4 on both the reflections and the global illuminations. Okay, can I go in the bathroom? Is that a thing? Okay, no, I can't go in there. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. This is some incredible... I mean, you can probably do some virtual production here. I'm going to try and do it because that would be cool because this looks pretty real. Maybe green screen myself in front of this or somebody just to see how real it looks. Because it's getting pretty close. These guys are so dang talented. It's getting close. What does that say? God of War. Gods of War. That's crazy, man. All right, so let's take a look. Let's go behind the scenes. Let's just take a look and see. First off, I want to know about the grass. The grass is an instance foliage or foliage. Gosh, get corrected like a million times with how I say that. Um, here we go. So instant, instant foliage. So grass. Ooh, that's not nice for grass. So it's a texture and material. Dude, what? Oh, dude, we're gonna expose your secrets here. It's just a texture? Are you kidding me? I didn't take the tutorial, obviously, the course, but... Dude, I look, <laughs> this grass looks really freaking good. Look at this thing. And I'm guessing he has some kind of wind in here. What the heck? Hang on, how did he make this? How is this moving? Is this just a material? So what kind of sorcery is this, man? Because usually, if you're moving grass, so you can see right here, it's not moving. Usually you would do a, you do some kind of material movements, right? Like a movement here, but I don't see it. So that's kind of cool. Be curious to know. I'm probably going to have to look that up to see how he did that because that looks really good. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Now this one has that. So if I go to hierarchy leaf, yeah, you can see right here, the world position offset. It's going to have the wind tree right here. See? That's what I was expecting to see on the grass because that grass is moving. Okay, that's interesting. Pretty cool. I'm going to have looked it up. And what was the other thing that I wanted to see here? Um, let's see if I can go in there. Oh, the fire. The fire is actually... Is that... What is that? It's not a particle. It's just a material. Okay. So it's a material and some distortion. Oh, it's cascade. Okay. So this is old school particle cascade. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so this is cascade particle. Cool. So that's that. Let's see if we can move it out. Okay, yeah. All right, so it's a cascade fire. Cool. It's awesome. And then this thing is kind of weird with, with the reflections. Uh, what the heck is this? Okay, it's an entire piece. All right, so it's 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 one mesh put together. Yep, so it's that and the fridge as well. Okay, so let's take a look at some visualization for global illumination, Lumen. So it looks like he pretty much had everything work in Lumen. Lumen wise, it looks like everything is working here. Everything is reflecting properly. GI is working, reflection is working. I mean, as you can see right there. So, reading a lot about that now with the whole Lumen thing, you technically just want small pieces of mesh instead of one entire thing. It works better that way. So, that's what he did here. So, I see, we're going to try and pick it apart. Yeah. So, you got. This wall, it's just a small section. 
this top is just one piece. So you can see it's affecting the entire scene, how it gets um, you know, the dynamic lighting on the scene is being changed. And that's how you know if Lumen is working because it's affecting the area, you know, because light bounces, right? So sometimes whenever I do my test, you know, some of the scenes aren't actually all compatible with Lumen. So now I'm having to test everything out like this one does. It, it's affecting the area as far as lighting goes. So not whenever you're doing your scenes, not everything is actually enabled depending on the map, you know. So, you know, just I'm still trying to figure that out, try to make sure everything is compatible with Lumen. So sometimes my tests don't work properly, and that's because of that. Like this one piece right here. It's changing the scene. And it looks like he did majority of it as far as the conversion. Like, I think these are all Lumen enabled. Majority of the pieces like this. Yeah. That's cool. And it looks really good. So, I know it's still in beta, but I think, I think it's still a good tool. I mean, I know a lot of people right now are kind of like, well, it only works sometimes, not all the time, but... They're still kind of like a year away from release, and I'm sure that they're going to try and make it better, I'm hoping. So yeah, this is the Divis, D-V-I-Z, our house for Unreal Engine 5. Now, he also has this in Unreal Engine 4, if you all want to check that out. If you purchased it, the uh, R I purchased both of them, pretty much comes with both. So I have the RE5, no, RRE, UE5, and UE4 version.